Hello there. Hey, this is a recent build that I just did. Um, it's going to um, a friend, and basically, you can see on side graphics, this is uh, Marvel versus Capcom, and every other graphic on here is X Men versus Street Fighter. And I'm just going to show you. Basically, this is um, using the uh, front end Vadosera, the latest version, and it's on an older Dell Optiplex. So I'm just going to fire it up and show you. Because this is just a quick message about the importance of scan lines. Scan lines is the old school um, visual on games. It's not like broken lines, but it's actually like a semitone in between, and it just helps smooth things out. So if you come around and have a look, basically this is an older Dell Optiplex, and currently I have a scan line converter on. So when you see it on screen and it fires up, um, it'll actually have all the lines in. But I'll just show the importance of having them off and on. That sort of thing. So what we'll do is it's going to fire up and then we choose a game um, that we're familiar with. So for me a good one bench test is like Black Tiger because that used to be a game that I used to play like when I was a kid and I can tell sort of how it looks. So got here all the games on here that I've just put on and we'll just go to main and we will choose go down here to Black Tiger. There's a few games on here. Or Black Dragon, as it's known as originally. So we'll fire that up, and I've got my scanline generator on at the moment. So you'll see here, like, there's interval lines and everything. Yeah, so just put some credits in and go for it. So we've got the scan lines working here and it's smoothing things off. And this is the game. So what we can do is, on the back here, I've got the actual scan line generator switched on. So I can turn that off. So just in here is the scan line generator. These are just the cheap, like you can get them between 10 to 20 Australian dollars, depending on what people do. So this is the actual switches and all the settings that I've currently got it set on. So with this, I can actually just switch it off and I think it's the top right. Oh, sorry, that's the fine ones. So you can actually vary between how fine and unfine you want it. So I've just turned that off just then. So on your actual selection screen, obviously that looks fine, but we're actually playing it. Currently I've chosen smooth, so it looks okay. And it looks quite smooth, but still the scan lines will enhance it. But also generally with Bardocera, it's actually not set to smooth. You can actually get away with this. Smooth is fine, that looks all right. But generally you still want that old school kind of look to it. So as you can see here, it's smooth. It looks okay, but it's kind of just blurred right into each other. So, got that here. So for example, I'm gonna switch it back on. And there you go, my old school. And then the other setting that it does is, in Photosera, you can actually go here, generally like under game settings, so you can choose the shaders set as well, but that's only if your machine's a little bit more powerful. This is an old school Dell Optiplex, and it can only handle pretty much up to like Sega Saturn. And so what we're doing is, we've actually got smooth games on, which you have to switch on. So if you put smooth games off, what it's gonna do is it's actually gonna make it all like pixelated and straight. It's sharper, but it's still not old school. So we'll fire it up again. And then here, you'll see that it's actually gonna be sharper. So all the shapes are a bit sharper, but the thing is you'd still want the lines in between. But the trouble is if you do put the lines in between, it still looks good, but generally you'd still want some lines in between to break it all up. So yeah, it's a bit sharper, but still, you'd want that old school look to it. That's all you do.
and switch it back on. And that's fine. But personally, I prefer the best setting for me is um, not to have smoothing off, but actually have smoothing on. So game settings and smooth games is on. The other one you can do is integer scale pixel perfect. If you have that switched on, the actual pixels and everything are gonna be even harder. And it looks really sharp, but the trouble is it just doesn't give you that close to old school CRT. The thing is, this isn't a CRT, this is just a regular LCD screen. And so we don't really want it to look too hard, we want it to be smooth. But the advantage is for only like 10 to 20 Australian dollars, you can get a scanline generator and actually automatically create those without tolling on your machine. Because for your actual PC, if you've got an older PC, if you try and tell it to actually generate the scan lines on the game, uh, it's going to actually result in like more CPU usage just to make scan lines. So if you get just the scan line generator, then your computer's solely just dealing with the games and not rendering them, trying to make them look old school for you. So yeah, that's a quick message about scan lines. And the thing is, for me, that's my own personal preference. If you want them to look sharp, you can do that. But even with PlayStation games and Saturn games and Dreamcast games, I personally prefer to have them with some scan lines in it. It sort of breaks up the image. And for me personally, when I'm playing games for quite a while, it, it sort of has a better look. So anyway, that's a quick message about scan lines. And for your own build, you can try them out. And um, the best thing is like, just do VGA straight out of your computer into a scan line generator, try a few settings, a few switches, and see what works for you, and then that's fine. So yeah, enjoy.